What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and on the table we have ourselves a Panda Hobby Tetra 24 X3 6x6. Let's open this guy up and see what it's all about. Alright guys, so as you all know or as you all may know, Panda Hobby RC has gone out of business. So if you guys want to pick up one of these, pick one up at your own risk because again, Panda Hobby is no more and they don't make parts for these things anymore. So I have checked out their website and their website as of today, July 24th, July 24th as of today, their website is still up but everything says out of stock. Now, I did pick this guy up on HobbyRecreationProducts.com. They have them on sale right now for $99.99. As of right now, July 24th, 2024. <laughs> they have this guy available for $99.99. Um, unfortunately, Panda Hobby has gone out of business and every site that has them that I have seen they all drop the price. They basically put them on sale because they just want to get rid of them, get them out of their shops because, again, no more Panda Hobby. So I ended up taking the risk and I picked one of these up. Now, Hobby Recreation Products, luckily, they do have stock parts available as of right now for this guy. And I believe for the 118 scale, that you can end up buying to end up fixing because if anything breaks on this guy you're pretty much SOL and you're gonna have to figure something out to be able to fix it because again Panda Hobby is no more but Hobby Recreation Products they do have parts available as of right now I guess until they are sold out or they just aren't going to put them out in there anymore. So, with that being said, I also want to let you guys know that out on the store, we do have shirts available. So, we have this one in black, and we also have a white one. Right now, I only have large and extra large available. So, if you guys do me a favor, go onto the store, buy yourselves a shirt, help out the channel so I can make more videos for this guys and please don't forget hit that like button subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when I'm coming out with new videos all right so enough blabber let's open this guy up and see what this thing looks like all right you guys so right here in the back opening it up we get a booklet booklet and I'll go do this kind of the easy way. And here it is. Ooh, those tires actually feel pretty soft. And it feels, at least on the back tire here, it kind of feels like it has foam in there. Now, these other ones that are on the rig itself. I don't feel films, but this one in the back, it does feel like it has films. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It might not have films at all. All right, so, well, there you go. So, what you get in the box? You get the truck, you will get the controller, and this other little box that comes with it, you also get, let's see, that's empty. What do we get here? We have the charger. You guys can see we got a charger in there. And we also get some batteries. Wow. All right. So we do get some AA batteries. We got some caps here for the wheels. So you can put them on. We get a T-wrench. We get some Allen keys, which this one, if you guys <laughs> Take a look at it there, it already comes just a little bit. All right, you guys, and there it is. And I gotta tell you, this thing looks actually pretty damn nice. I like it, and I like it a lot. Damn, I like this thing a lot. I have, so for the past 
couple of weeks, literally for the past couple of weeks, I have been planning on turning my SCX24 C10 into a 6x6. And I've been looking for a middle axle, basically. I've been looking for another axle so I can turn into, so I can make my SCX24 a 6x6. And when I really started thinking about making my C10 a 6x6, unfortunately, Panda Hobby decided they were going out of business. And uh, when I, I actually found out because I was watching Harley Designs video, and he's the one that actually mentioned that the 6x6, that Panda Hobby was actually going out of business. So I decided, hey, let me just pick up a uh, this thing and <laughs> see what it. Let me just check it out and see. I want to get. I want to make a six by six. So instead of making a six by six, I just figured I'd buy a six by six. So here is a six by six, and I gotta say this thing actually looks pretty damn good. So it does have headlights here on the front. It's got a light bar up top. Uh, we turn it to the back. It looks like it has some lights in the rear also and it looks like you can also add some lights to the rear bumper now i know because i've been checking this out for a while and i know that this thing is held on by magnets yes it is so which is pretty dang cool about this and like i said it's a shame that panda hobby has gone out of business because they did cool stuff like this so they have lights on the back and lights on the front and the way that the lights are all powered these are magnets on the back and on the front that go onto the chassis on the back here and on the front which hold the body in place but also powers up the lights and to me i think that is actually pretty cool that they did that that they did it that way so on the body here you also get a roll bar cage thing that goes on the back that holds a rear wheel that's pretty cool so we'll set that over to the side so getting to the chassis all right you guys so as you guys can see on the chassis here this is a two-in-one esc you do have a 51 turn 180 motor long motor here on the front which goes on to the transmission right there and as you guys can see which is actually pretty cool the way that they did this they got the battery tray here which also has like a lit coming up here that you guys can see it's a little tray for the ESC I think that's actually pretty cool the way that they did that now the vehicle does come with a 700 milliamp hour 7.4 volt two cell lithium ion battery put that to the side right now or i should actually i should actually charge that uh right in here is where you're going to plug in your battery so you put the battery in back here plug it in there you are good to go now it looks like this thing has six channels one two three four five yeah, this thing got six channels you guys six channels on there we are using one two three well, in this case, one, three, and four. There you go. And then right back here, you have the magnets here on the back. You have the magnets here on the front that hold the body onto the chassis and also light up the lights. Uh, now, these shocks on here, they are oil-filled shocks. Um, I don't set it on the box anymore. So they are 50 millimeter oil filled shocks. Uh, these are alloy shock bodies. The springs seem like they are kind of soft, but it does not seem too bad. Now, if you guys haven't noticed before, the axles on these guys, these are portal axles. All six are portal axles. So we got plastic, a plastic, whole plastic drive line. I believe these are metal. I believe these are all metal gears that are inside of here. If I am not mistaken. 
mistaken. Yes, they are metal worm gears. The wheels are definitely feed locks. So if you guys haven't noticed, this is a three speed transmission. We are going to check it out and see how this is going to work. Because I'm very, very excited to see how this guy's gonna do. All right, so on your controller here, you do have your steering trim, your throttle trim. You also have your steering dual rate, your throttle rate. So you get a uh, low, high, and medium, low, medium, and high. Um, you can reverse the steering on here and you can reverse the throttle. You also can have a third channel switch right here. We are going to find out what that does. And your on off switch is right here. So the, ooh, that's hard. <laughs> so they do, it, it's, the controller actually feels really, really nice in my hand. I can actually reach and do everything one handed so I can record video, but I also have a way that I can record and use both hands at the same time. So we're going to charge up the battery, check this thing out, see how it does here in the office, and then we're gonna take it outside and see how it does. All right, you guys, so we are out here at the boulder and we are going to check out and see how this little guy's gonna do. So if you guys don't remember the boulder, we're gonna to try to climb this with this guy. So let's power it up and see how it does.
come on! Ooh, wow! So, it took a little bit for it to climb up there. It struggled a lot for it to climb up there, but it got pretty far up. With no weights on it, no brass weights, no other, again, it's a six by six. But that did pretty dang good. <laughs> I'm really amazed how good it did getting up there. I mean, the nose of it got right up there, but that's where it ended up. I believe some brass wheels, better tires, that this guy will climb up the boulder with no problems at all. So, there it is. <laughs> there it is. It did not conquer the boulder, but I believe it will. So, let's keep running around with this thing and see how good it does. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant I don't need shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, give me that crown Get in my way and you'll be put down It ain't your place, all this my town If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now I'm losing it, the noose it fits Some loose shit, a stupid myth You choose to live or choose to dip You choose to fight or lose your grip And lose a gift, oh Feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign Yeah! There's no mercy in this world, just hunger, thirsty persons In different versions, each new update, that shit worsens Why? Pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin We all have different burdens that all seem to cause disturbance Yo, do me a favor, don't treat me like a neighbor Don't need the different flavors of your problems just to savor I've got my own issues, I need a comb to get through Don't need to groan with you, just go get your own tissue Feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. That's it, the end of the song. Next time you sing along. Trust me, there's nothing wrong. I just need to carry on, cause society's a myth. Put there to make you sit. Listen to what they give. Don't ask questions, shut your lid. Yeah, don't ask questions, shut your lid. I need to run away from this and go get off the grid. Feel like my brain is overloaded, man, I'm losing it. Don't let them tell you what to do, man. All right, guys, so hopefully you guys noticed that this thing suffers from some grip. It definitely, definitely needs grip. Could it do better with lower tires, some other tires? Absolutely. And that is something that I am definitely going to be looking into is getting some tires for this thing. Now, something that I realized earlier that I didn't mention earlier was how I was saying that how I was saying that I wanted to raise it up so if you guys happen to look on the shock towers here I'll show you on this side here it's easier to see it on the back so on the back right there there are actually holes right back here hopefully you guys can see that there's some holes right back there 
to adjust the height of the suspension. So, <laughs> so one of the things I'm going to wind up doing is I'm going to get some better tires for this guy and oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to get some better tires for this guy and I'm going to raise it up a little bit because I think it also lacks from ground clearance. Um, the front bumper hangs up a lot. I think the front bumper should have been closer to the body maybe, but it does hang up a lot. I'll tell you what, these magnets, I'm just holding the body and the magnets are holding the chassis pretty dang well on this. So the other thing I want to do before I end this video is again, since I'm at the boulder, I want to see how this guy is going to do up the hill. Let's do it. Now I do have this on high, the high gearing. And I don't know if you guys can notice or not, this is a lot rockier than it was before. I don't want to cheat, so let's go a different way. See if it'll make it up a different way. there so
All right, you guys, so that was uh, a little challenging for this guy. Um, I will have to say that the ground has eroded or corroded a little bit here. Um, so it's a lot tougher than it was. We did have a rainstorm come through here a couple days ago and it was a big rainstorm and it, it must have did all this because I do not remember this being like this, as many roots showing as there is. So this is definitely a lot challenging than it was before. So I'm not even gonna to attempt to go downhill with it because I also think that the tires that are on here, I also think so I also think that the tires that are on here are on the smaller side. As you guys can see, the tires are definitely on the smaller side. So it is definitely giving it a tougher time than it should get. Uh, I am going to be looking at getting, I am going to be looking at getting some tires for it. I believe these are 50 millimeter tires. I'm going to see if I can get something a little bit taller and raise the body up a little bit so there isn't too much of the body grabbing onto the wheels. And I think that's going to help it. I really do think that's going to help it. So that is all I got for you guys in this video. If you like the content, please hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to check out the store Pick yourself up an RC Car Garage t-shirt, support the channel, help me out so I can keep making some great videos for you guys. And that's all I got for you. So with that being said, you all have a good one. Keep RCing.